Today, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that will help make your Scarlet Lady voyage even better. I'll tell you where you can escape the crowds, where you can get some unique food items, how you can save money on drinks, and much more. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a splendid day and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I recently went on my fifth Scarlet Lady cruise, so I am very familiar with this ship and Virgin Voyages. So in this video, I'm going to give you some of my best pointers to help make your cruise even better. I have a few Virgin videos coming up, including my full cruise review, which I'm very excited about. This sailing was very different than my previous sailings, and I have so much to share with you. If you don't want to miss it, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when it's uploaded. But without further ado, let's dive in. Here are my seven Scarlet Lady secrets. Number one. Snag a dock daybed on sea days. At the back of the ship, there is a restaurant called The Dock, and they have daybeds with fantastic views of the wake. On sea days, these daybeds are prime real estate, so you're going to want to get one early. You will have a server who will bring you cocktails, but unlike the daybeds by the pool, you can also order food from your server. It's almost like having a free personal cabana with a dedicated attendant. The dock restaurants serve small plates. These include goat cheese polenta, grilled shrimp, Spanish octopus, fire roasted chicken on a pita, and hanger steak on a pita. The food is really good. Number two, get away from the crowds on deck. And I have two pointers for you here. First, the Scarlet Lady has a couple hot tubs that many guests overlook. And these hot tubs are at the front of the ship near the net, which is a net that is over the ocean that you can lie on and take pictures. These hot tubs are off the beaten path. So if the hot tubs near the pool are full, you might want to check these out. And the next out of the way area is the outdoor section of the galley. And the galley is Virgin's food court. A lot of passengers don't even realize this area is there. First, it's a great place to eat breakfast or lunch, but on off peak times, it's pretty empty. It's completely shaded, so it's not too hot. And there are comfortable seating areas. It's the perfect place to curl up with a book or just relax out of the sun. Number three, save money on drinks. Now, Virgin doesn't offer any all-you-can-drink packages. Instead, if you prepay $300, they will add $50 to your bar tab. Sometimes they will add $100. They often run specials where they will add $100 instead of $50. So if you want to get the most bang from your cocktail buck, here are some tips. First, you can bring two bottles of wine or champagne on board with you. It's two bottles per stateroom, I believe. These bottles should be in your carry-on luggage and not your check luggage. It's nice to bring a bottle of champagne with you for sail away, but you can get free champagne instead. The Scarlet Lady usually has a sail away party where they serve free champagne. It's usually only 30 minutes, so you're going to want to be sure to get there on time, and that way you can definitely get two or three glasses. Why not let Richard pay for your sail away drinks? My next tip involves Bimini Beach Club. The club has a special where if you buy five beers, you get $5 off. Heineken at the beach club is only $5, so you basically get a free beer. And you can mix and match the beers. It's a cheap way to drink at Bimini. Number four, eat some chicken wings or a vegan dog. This was a new discovery for me on this cruise. There is a small bar and restaurant near the wake called the Social Club Diner. I had seen the bar on previous sailings, of course, but I didn't know that they offered food. And Virgin calls the food served here Carnival Eats. On the menu are hot dogs. You can get a traditional dog, a Philly dog with onions, peppers, and cheese whiz, or a Reuben dog with pastrami, Swiss, and sour. Crowd. They even have a vegan dog with pickled jalapeno and spicy mayo. Wait, mayo isn't vegan. Maybe it's vegan mayo. They also have pretzels with cheese and popcorn. And you can get chicken wings here with or without buffalo sauce. Like all restaurants on Virgin, these are included at no charge. You can also get some pretty interesting boozy floats here, but these cost money. They have one called the Bury Me at Sea, B-E-R-R-Y. This is made with champagne, 
berry sorbet, vanilla, and Red Bull, and it's $9. The Social Club is pretty close to the arcade, so once you're done eating your Carnival Eats, you can go play all the games you want because the arcade on the Scarlet Lady is completely free. Number five, have wine and charcuterie on your terrace. Remember when I said that you can bring wine with you on board? Well, nothing goes better with wine than charcuterie, and you can get this on the Scarlet Lady. In the galley, they have grab-and-go options near the entrance that you can take back with you to your cabin, and one of these options is charcuterie. So grab a couple boxes and enjoy them on your terrace. If you don't have a balcony cabin, find a quiet place on deck. The galley also has other grab-and-go options, including sushi bento boxes with veggie rolls, salmon rolls, and spicy tuna. Many cruise lines charge extra for sushi, so that's another great option. Secret number six, see a sold out show at the manor. Now I've never personally tried this one, but someone we met on this sailing told us about this secret. If there's a show in the manor nightclub and you can't get a reservation, you can watch it from the upper level. The upper level manor entrance is on deck seven and you can just go in and watch. It's standing room only. There are no seats. Our cruise buddy told us she did this for a couple different shows and never had a problem. Number seven, ask about the secret menu items at Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle is known for its vegan and vegetarian options, although they do have a few items on their naughty menu like schnitzel and fried chicken. But Razzle also has a couple off the menu options. On our sailing, the secret menu consisted of a steak dish and curry chicken. So be sure to ask your server about these. Also, I wanted to point out that Razzle is very good for brunch. The wait gets most of the attention when people talk about brunch on the Scarlet Lady and it is a very nice high-end option. But Razzle has a good brunch too, and they have some unique menu items like coconut milk fairy toast and an acai bowl that I had that was absolutely awesome. And you can get traditional items like bacon and eggs here. Just ask your server. And here's a bonus tip for you. Bring a reusable water bottle with you on board. There is no bottled water on the ship. Your stateroom attendant will bring you containers of still and sparkling water to your cabin twice a day. And if you prefer still or sparkling, just let your room attendant know and they will be happy to bring you extra. But if you're soaking up the sun, a reusable water bottle can really come in handy. Of course, you can always get a glass of water from any bar, but this will keep you from standing in line. And be sure to bring your water bottle with you to Bimini. And speaking of water bottles, I wanted to show you this. This was a gift from my sister-in-law, Jenny. Thank you so much, Jenny. It's got my little avatar on the front and on the back it says, Freshly Squeezed Travels. This is a custom glass bottle and it was done by Twisted Dream Creations and their website is twisteddreamcreations.com. This video is not sponsored. My channel is way too small for that, but I just wanted to show you because it's super cute. And if you're looking for a Mother's Day gift or a birthday gift, you might want to check it out. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. A few of you have asked how you can support my channel, which is so super sweet of you. And the best possible way is to simply subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. If you'd like to talk Virgin Cruising with me a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might like. The top video is 15 fast facts you should know before sailing on the Scarlet Lady. And the bottom video is all about the sweet perks on the Scarlet Lady. Have you sailed with Virgin? Do you have any great tips? If so, please share them in the comment section below so we can all learn from each other. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye!